one is x is greater than 1 to the left, or sorry, what is the limit as x is approaching 1 from the left? Now, it might not be as obvious if there's holes or asymptotes going on here, right? Correct? Yes. So, but we see a trinomial, so we probably think, well, that guy's pretty tricky. When there's a trinomial, he probably wants us to factor, factor it. So I'm just going to factor it just so I can have a better understanding. And I can see this is based not too hard of factoring problems. If it was something that I really had trouble factoring, I would just plug it in and see if it actually worked anyways. Um, but in this case, I can already see the factoring result kind of in my head. And I'm hoping that you guys can kind of factor this as well. So therefore, I see at x minus 1, or at x equals 1, there is a whole. And when x is equal to 4, there is a asymptote. Now, I have no idea what this graph looks like. Now, I'm sure you guys could plug in your graphing calculator, and you guys could see what this graph looks like. right? I'm just going to make up some random graph. Okay, This is not correct. But I know there's an asymptote at 4, and I know there's a whole at 1. So let's just do like 1. I have no idea what this graph looks like. All I know is there's a hole there and an asymptote there. Now, if I am approaching, and if I was doing the limit from the asymptote, I'd want to see left or right hand limit, right? I want to see where is it going, infinity or negative infinity. Would you guys agree? If I was testing the left or right hand limit at the asymptote, I want to know is it going up or is it going down. That's why looking at the graph would be helpful. However, I am checking the limit at 1. I'm checking the left hand limit at 1. I don't really care what the limit, where, like all I know is I just need to figure out what that value is of the function. So if I want to check this left hand limit at, the, at a whole, all I'm going to do is just apply direct substitution with x plus 4 over x minus 4. So therefore, that's equal to, I'm um, just plugging 1 plus 5 over 1 minus 4, which equals a, that's not right. What happened? 1 plus 4. I'm doing the math in my head. Negative 5 thirds, which I wasn't too bad off of mine. So that value is negative 5 thirds. That's what I am approaching, right? Yeah? OK. So just the key difference, guys, is um, the thing is when you're approaching a whole, simplify it and then apply direct substitution. When you have